welcome or welcome back to Life on the French. This month, Life on the French, where we're doing French themed videos for an entire month to combat the YouTube algorithm, which always mistakes my channel for Life on the French. It's French, but whatever. Uh, so today, that is an especially fitting theme because we are going to make macarons. So, uh, you know, I thought initially macarons. French. I think a lot of people assume French, right? They associate the two. But it turns out that just like my channel uh, and ballet, incidentally, uh, they're from Italy. They're not even from France, originally. I mean, they're popular in French, in, in French cuisine now, but so, and, and incidentally, uh, if you watched my ballet video, I'll link it up here where I talk about the history of ballet, uh, the same woman, Catherine de, uh, de Medici, her chef brought them from Italy to France when she married Henry II. I don't know. I thought that was a fun fact. Uh, it's funny that you happened to cross both of those facts while doing Life on the French Month. Yeah. Now, I've learned something. <laughs> so even if this doesn't work, I guess I've learned something. Uh, but we're taking on quite a big task today. Because in previous cooking videos, I've done, like, basics with Babish, right? Basic. Basic. And I don't know if you've seen those videos, but it's a 50-50 shot whether or not, like, I nail those or not and they're basic. We are now taught, we're in the territory of binging with Babish. There's nothing basic about that. So, uh, we're going to be recreating his recipe, which he weirdly is inspired by Preppy Kitchen, who I've also done a recipe for. Um, so I don't know whose recipe it is. I think we should just get started. Is my life. Let's make it even better with some French macarons. A precise recipe for which we're going to need some precision. Do not attempt to make this recipe without a scale. I am way out. We don't have a scale. But this is not good. This is not a good start. <laughs> 140 grams of almond flour. Two cups. Okay, one and a half cups. Here we go. Breaking the rules. Attempting to do this without... Oh, you're putting it into a food processor, didn't he say? Sifting it into a food processor. One and a half. One and a half cups. Hey, they're all together. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to a recipe where we have all the ingredients. Like. Already. We didn't previously have all the flour. And nothing against, like, people who go to Whole Foods. But I do have something against people who go to Whole Foods. I think I just broke the resealable part of this. I don't care. I don't care. Who wants nutty flour? Like, peanut, don't peanut waste milk. the flour. This is expensive flour. But when are we using this? For the rest of the Macrons. Oh my, what? I tried, and now it's... It up You're me. supposed to sift it into the food processor. What? Dude, there's a hole in the middle of this. Oh. There's a hole on this. What, what? He might want you to put it, sift it directly onto that thing. Jesus Christ. You know, I feel like this is 
is going to be like a puppy pie one, where it's just going to be a lot of me standing over here for a very long time. It was worth it for the whoopie pie, though. If you want to watch that video, I'll link that. That is a really good recipe. It's from Preppy Kitchen. It was. It took a long time, but it was very good, I thought. Didn't you think? Yeah. I'm expecting the, the same from these macarons. Okay, well that's 140 grams. What's, what's next? 130 grams of powdered sugar. <laughs> oh, you weren't, you weren't kidding. One and a third? One and a third. That literally might be the rest of the powdered sugar. This was so much faster than the almond flour. See, this is why unhealthy food so much more fun to cook with. Great. Right, I'll need that later. But now we put this into the food processor. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Minimal spillage. It's pretty bad. <laughs> And it's just dusty. It's so dusty. Okay, I'm not a fan of so far of anything that's happened. I don't even have a knuckle that's clean. I have this knuckle. It's pulsing occasionally so we get as fine a powder as possible, but we're not done. We're sifting this. You're sifting again. <laughs> no, we're not. Why? <laughs> so we, we, we blend it in the food processor, you're telling me? Yep. For 30 seconds. Yep. On pulse. Mm-hmm. And then we have to sift it again. <laughs> All right. Okay. Probably would have been smart to take this out first. That's my, that's on me. Okay, we'll get. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. You just unwhisked all of that. <laughs> I'm leaving it. <laughs> Sift again. Yeah. And you notice it's the almond flour that's sticking. So even though we just blended everything, it, it, we're now basically separating it because the almond flour is much less fine than the powdered sugar. Okay, you see how mad that makes me right there? Okay, I clean it, and somehow the powdered sugar comes back. mixture back into the food processor and whizzing once again and again once more after that for a total of three whizzes. This is all in an effort to get as fine a powder as possible. I'm just gonna help give our cookies smooth tops. Well <laughs> No So what is this now? This is number two? Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not liking the French and their cuisine so far. Sifting the shit every hour. It takes more power to have the will to live to see the flowers sifted. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Still a little bit in. You're sifting this next batch.
What? <laughs> this? Yeah. Don't worry, don't. Oh, don't no. worry. I got it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That makes it more chunky. Like you see these chunks here? Yeah, isn't that the point though? We're supposed no, we're supposed to be making it into a fine powder. So the reason you have to freaking sift it every time is you put it in this thing, and it gets more chunky. Well, I guess you need like the sugar and the almond flour well blended too. But they're not going to be blended once you sift it anyway. You just need to mix it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. You're doing the third one. I'm not doing the third one. All right, it's done. It doesn't even get better. It's not like it goes from like sifting to like normal things. So now we have to, again, without a scale, figure out how much egg yolk we need. So we're just gonna, whatever the amount of eggs he does in this video, we're gonna pray he didn't cut out any that's what we're using and also it's not the whole egg it's just the egg whites so now we're sifting eggs any suggestions at all on how to do this um i i just kind of dance it back and forth between the two But you gotta be gentle. Open it up completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Good. Put the yolk over here. Yeah, put the yolk over there. That was pretty good. That was actually really good for a first attempt. Oh, it'll be the like second the, one. the yolk didn't break. That's huge. And you barely got any white in with the yolk. So, that was a huge success. That's such a big <clears throat> We don't know what we're doing. We're dumping into the bowl of a stand mixer equipped with our wiriest of whisks and we're adding one eighth teaspoon of cream of tartar. We put the tartar in and the eggs. I'm sorry we didn't show that to you. And we're showing you this instead. So we have to whisk that for a minute, but then we have to slowly, emphasis on slowly, that's his quote, Put in 90 grams of sugar. Just, you know, I get, I get that like it's not basics with babish and the macarons are like super fucking fancy, but like, can we just get an estimate? An estimate! Say, it won't turn out, but this is a best estimate. Oh, we're sifting again, aren't we? No, that's good. It's supposed to be like four. That's good. Less. This is good. Okay, now we whisk for a minute and then we slowly add this. Our peaks are stiff. Super. That took so long, so long. Okay. Vanilla. Okay, now we whip again. No, uh, add the coloring. The color, the color, that's right. What color? He makes it blue. Yeah, he makes it blue, but I feel like that makes sense because his flavor is blue. What color is vanilla? Leave your, Yellow. Leave your suggestions in the, in the thing down below. Or white. Okay, well, we don't have white. I was thinking we would go red just to go Valentine's Day. Okay. And red is supposed to be more appetizing of a color, so even if this turns out like Poorly, psychologically, we may be able to trick ourselves into thinking that it tastes good because of the color. Psychologically. 
Looks like just giraffes have flown. <laughs> okay. Now we whip? Now we whip. Then we are to engage in a practice known as Makahona. <clears throat> Excuse me, Makahona. More fucking whipping. And sifting. No sifting, just spatula. No, there's sifting coming up. Don't you see what he's doing in the camera? No. Okay, fine. We scraped the sides. Good for us. It's back down. Lock it in. All right. Our peaks. They're not stiff like they were in their youth. You know, elderly men, less stiff. That's the level of stiff we're working with. The elderly man level of stiff. And to be quite honest, I don't want to Benjamin Button this thing any longer uh, because after this step is another extremely long and frustrating step. So we're calling that you know why? Because it doesn't even end up being fucking fluffy, right? It ends up being, this isn't the, this is not the filling. This is the cookie part. <laughs> what happened to chocolate chip cookies? You know, the French, so pretentious. Listen, you fucking pink piece of crap. Because you look cute does not mean I like you. Macaronage. Basically, we're going to sift a third of our finely ground almond flour and powdered sugar mixture into the meringue and, and using a long rubber spatula, gently fold it together. Once all the dry stuff is... You heard the man. We sift a fucking again. What was the point of sifting at the beginning? Bullshit. That's what it is. I, I, I'm so over it. I'm over it. I don't understand the point of doing this again. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Taking it from the rim, just folding it in. Folding it like that. Look at that. Folding it in to the, to the batter. There is not one step that I have done so far that I've enjoyed. Not not a singular one. You were pretty good at the egg whites. Okay, I was surprisingly talented at that. I, that came out of literally nowhere. That was God trying to like give me strength through this process of delicately fucking mixing this thing. All right, All right. I've hit my limit. And by the power of movie magic, voila. Okay, so we overshot with the flour. We used all the flour. If we'd been smart, we would have, like, maybe not used all the flour. Yeah, I think that's right. It looks pretty dry compared to his. Yeah, his is, it's supposed to, like, form a figure eight. Or as he says, a figure of eight. Uh, this is not going to do that. This is just... Oops. They did say if you didn't have a scale, it was going to be an issue. We've hit an issue. Okay? Okay. So, let's just, you know, continue on. Continue on. Right? Let's, it could be okay. This won't be perfect. Okay. So now, it would be, like, difficult, right? You gotta get the gooey stuff into here, but, like... Literally, it's just... <laughs> it's like brains. Or meat. Uncooked raw meat. You know those kids in school that were like, I brain you instead of I heart you? I don't... That was like, a, I, that was kind of a thing. For a time, they would have like little Valentine's Day cards because it was like, your feelings are from your brain. I was one of those kids. 
because it was more factually accurate. It was so sad. I know. At least I wasn't a horse girl. That's not anything against any of you that are horse girls. I just have two friends that were horse girls back in the back in the day. And no, they don't get to live it down. At least they're not Macron girls. Yeah. Okay, Carry so around their Ziploc bag of brains. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so now we have to whip it around, right? Yeah. I don't think this is going to do much in the state that it's in. Yeah, that's good. Okay, great. So now we cut a little hole. Okay, we all saw how good I was at the whoopie pie episode, so at this, so this is gonna be it. Easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> 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 I know what it looks like. You don't need to tell me what it looks like. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna f the bag, okay? And we're gonna make little little circles, little spheres. Now you know what the worst part about this is. After we get these all laid out, do they get to go into the oven right away? No. They have to sit there and form my shell. Which I don't even think ours are going to do. <laughs> so now we wait for 45. Well, we tap them. Oh, right. Because we got to get the airiness out of these things. They're so airy. Okay. <laughs> While those are resting, we start making the buttercream. So thank God it is not like the, whoop, the whoopie pie where we have to do the whole fluffy meringue crap again. But we're going to need the stand mixer, right? Yeah, we do need the stand mixer. So we got to do some dishes. So yeah, some dishes have to be done. Additionally, I need to get five egg yolks. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. Two are already in there. And then... Once dishes are done, the egg yolks are done, we'll catch back in. Okay, so we have our egg yolks. They go into this thing. And that's gonna get whisked while we also do the next step. And so I don't want, you don't wanna have to listen to the whisk. So I'm just gonna do the next step first. Okay, half a cup of sugar, which again, they give you in grams, but it's a half a cup. Supposedly, but you know, we saw how the last thing turned out, so. That's supposed to go into two teaspoons of water? That can't be right, can that it? That cannot be right. Yeah, just over six, okay. It's still weird, that's still a very, oh, that's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna try to spread the sugar into the water so it's a little bit more mixed. because I would like at least one part of this recipe to turn out, okay? So that goes on medium heat. We start whisking and we'll check back in when we're, that's done and that's done. So we got it up to 240, but I don't know how accurate our thermometer is, or 230, um, but it was gonna boil all the water off. So we just, we're calling it because the eggs are doubled in volume. Very slow, very, very slow. Because you don't want to cook the eggs. I am trying. Okay, so it's time to put these in the oven. Despite the dough being a disaster, they did actually form like a little bit of a crispy top. So at least that happened. Um, but they're going in at 300 degrees for six minutes and then we rotate it and then they go in for another six minutes. Uh, we're still waiting for our eggs to be room temperature so we can start putting the butter into the butter cream. I'm never making this again. Ever. Or anything like it. Anything that's got those like two steps and then you combine the steps, these like cakes, 
like whoopie pies and this, never again. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. You know, remember the whoopie pie episode? I've probably mentioned it about a billion times. Just go watch it, okay? Or don't, because it, it, some of it is very similar. And now we get to add butter slowly into this, because it's at room temperature. Two sticks of unsalted butter, a little bit at a time. Isn't that fun? That, this, isn't this how you spend your, what is it, Thursday afternoons? I mean, it's a miracle I'm not just putting the stick of butter into this. And if I had the rationale, right, I could be like, oh, well, then it would ruin the blah, 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 but I don't know what it's going to ruin. Hmm? It reminds me of, like, pirates walking the plank. Yeah. yeah. Here you go, buddy. Walk the plank. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, no. Sometimes you just gotta throw them overboard. <laughs> as much as I'm hating on it, like, when I was a kid, I used to, like, eat butter out of the tub. I don't know if anybody else did that. I think people did. But maybe it was just me. And here we have our buttercream, French buttercream style icing. Ooh la la. What does it taste like? It's good. It's definitely buttercream. It is heavy on the butter. <laughs> yes. So now we are going to put it onto these. Now, okay. The viewers have not seen these yet. I have not seen them yet either. <laughs> okay. They're not very like crisp. Do you think that well they have to cool completely anyway? Yes. On the cookie sheet. So we just need to let them alone. We need to let them alone and hopefully the texture improves. The looks will not improve, but the texture <laughs> might improve. <laughs> I bet you we can still make a pretty one. Like thumbnail clickbait? Sure. Okay, I'm just here to do my best. And right now this is all I have to give. Oh, is it melting? It might still be too warm. I told you it was too warm. Quickly now. You put this on. Okay, look. Ah, it's sliding. Okay, definitely it's too warm. Definitely too warm. It's sliding everywhere. No, 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 no. Okay, look. <laughs> okay, too hot, too hot, too hot. Okay, so it's nearly midnight. So we're counting these as cool. Hopefully the icing doesn't melt again. Next best options. Looks like a butter burger, but for real. Okay, here we go. So With the buttercream, so the cookies by themselves are like super sugary, not like unbelievably sugary, but the buttercream is so buttery that it, they cancel each other out. <clears throat> so you're getting like all of the bad things for you for basically just so they cancel each other. So I don't really understand why that's necessary. Uh, overall, I think they taste like good. They're, they are still very sweet. I'm more of a chocolate person. My plan was for like me to serve these. I 
I don't even know how to store these right now. Well, that's something for us to do off camera. Uh, in the meantime, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can click the red button down below. Um, if you're interested in any of the things that we referenced in this video, I also listed those in the description down below. Benji McBavish's video, his recipe, and Preppy Kitchen's recipe, all are below. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, see you next time. Bye!